Hey everyone, so today's video is a little bit different. This is one of the most requested videos that I get from you guys, so I'm doing this just for you. I'm gonna give you a recap of nationals with Harvey and Kensington. I was in Chicago last month competing at the dressage nationals and I wanted to go over some of my rides, over some of my tests, give you guys a little bit of a voiceover, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and also what my biggest takeaways are from this. My hope with sharing this is that it gives you some encouragement and also helps you understand that regardless of what level you are in your riding, the beauty of dressage is that you're always working on getting better. You're never done learning. There's always more that you can improve upon. And I think one of my biggest takeaways too is the importance of the basics. Dressage is all about the basics. So going back to rhythm, suppleness, and connection, those are the foundation of your training and those are what allow you to do the more advanced movements. Before we get started with the video clips, be sure to check out the description box below. I have a 30 day to round challenge that enrollment is ending on Saturday. So be sure to check that out. Sign up if you haven't yet. We already have a lot of students going through the curriculum. It's an incredible program and I cannot wait to see your transformation. So check that out in the description box and let's get started with the videos. Okay, so to get started, um, the boys had a like 40 hour trailer ride from LA to Chicago. So the first few days I really focused on stretching. I was really focusing on just simple transitions, basic gates, getting the horses long and low over their back so that they could stretch and get all of that tension and lactic acid out of their muscles. It's always important when you're stretching your horse that you really wanna think about the entire neck being below your saddle. When the neck goes down, that helps the back to come up and stretch. So that's really important. Sometimes we hear about riding in a half neck where you kind of have the nose in, but the horse isn't really stretching. I'm guilty of that. But overall, the first few days, I was happy with how the horses felt. I was really trying to pace myself because we arrived at the show over a week before we started competing. So that was a little tricky because both Harvey and Kensington were a little excited to be at a new showground but I really wanted to try to pace myself with them so that by show day, they weren't um, exhausted. So on the day before we started showing, I had lessons from Christine Traurig. And with Harvey, we really worked on connection. So you can see us working here with the Piaf Passage. We're working little transitions forward and back and trying to really focus on getting the energy to flow from his hind leg through the back and to the mouth. So a little bit in, a little bit out and really controlling those tempo changes. I have a tendency to do too much where I kind of like gun him forward and I lose the engagement and then I collect too much. So it was really, really helpful to get a few lessons from Christine. She's an amazing coach and it's always great to have eyes on the ground. It's also so important always to praise your horse, especially when they're at a new place, uh, give them that confidence. So here I'm schooling Kensington and Kensington is seven, he's a wiggle worm. So keeping him straight is really a challenge. He likes to kind of go a little bit crooked, wiggle all over the place. So I work on really getting him in front of my leg, getting him connected, and then being able to keep him in shoulder four. So here I'm schooling a nice big canter pirouette. He's a seven year old, so you do have half pirouettes in the seven year old test but they're allowed to be quite big. The most important thing with your pirouettes is that you keep the impulsion and that you keep the rhythm, that the horse doesn't lose rhythm or jump together behind. So again, this was the day before the show started. I was starting to do more movements 
but always, always focusing on the basics with both horses. So the throughness, the suppleness, and the connection, that's the base of the dressage training scale. And always that's the most important thing. If you're having trouble with a movement, it's because basics aren't correct. Okay, so here we are on warm up day. It was very nice. My husband came and helped me to warm up. I was just practicing a nice long half pass there with Harvey. And then here we go into the passage. Again, I'm really focusing on that connection, on the throughness like Christine was having me do. Uh, one thing you'll notice and that I struggle with with Harvey still is I can get like really nice Piaf passage in the warm up and I lose it a little bit when I go into the show ring. So it's normal that you lose a little bit when you go from the warm up and into the show ring. And it's just something you have to practice until you can get the same quality in schooling that you get in the show ring. So here Harvey's starting his test. We had a nice straight entrance and a halt. At these bigger competitions, they close the gate behind you. So you saw that person there, she was closing the gate. And I also had a nice depart. That's one thing the judge really wants to see is that you go straight from the halt into the trot with no walk steps at the upper levels. Harvey is doing the developing Grand Prix. He's 10 years old this year. Um, and overall, he was feeling pretty good this day. Here I come into my half pass. So it's a half pass zigzag, half pass right, half pass left, half pass right. I was really trying to focus and be in the zone. I think that that is one of the most important and most difficult things. I was riding every single step, every single corner. Here's a little bit of our Piaf Passage Tour. Um, and again, I had to make a little correction. He wanted to stop over there before I came to the corner. But this is Harvey's first year at Grand Prix and his passage has improved a lot this year. It takes a lot of strength and coordination for them to really hold the Piaf and Passage. So I was pretty pleased with how he felt. Okay, so that was Harvey's first test. Now here's Kensington in the warm up arena and Kensington doesn't really like other horses. So you can see here, like when I go across the short side, he gets a little bit spooked. Um, and you know, I just try to keep my hands down, keep riding him forward. That's always the best thing to do when your horse gets worried is give them somewhere to go, but keep your composure, keep your hands down and put them on the aids. Kensington is a little bit of a shy horse, but if I'm there for him and I give him the confidence to continue on, then that is really the best thing for him. So here's our half pass left, and then we do a 10 meter circle right, and then shoulder in right. This is the FEI seven-year-old test. And again, I was pretty pleased with him. This was the first time that I showed him in the double bridle. I actually, the second test, I put him back in the snaffle bridle because I felt like he got a little bit too backed off in the double bridle. Um, there's my half pass to the right and then a flying change to the left. You can see what I mean, how he gets a little wiggly there. Like he has a lot of ability to move sideways, but sometimes that makes going straight a little tricky. Like you can see here, in the four tempi changes that he's still a little bit wiggly and a little bit not super straight in those changes. So you can see with both horses, it's definitely a work in progress. I think my biggest takeaway from the show is that I need to go back and really focus on the basics. That was one thing that I really, really took home from the show. Um, I. To be honest, I had hoped to do better. I learned a lot though, and I learned how much better everything has to be. Going to the nationals where you're going up against the top 15 in your division and you're riding with the best horses and the best riders in the country was very eye-opening. I think one of the things I enjoyed the most was I got to watch Laura Graves ride in the I won pre-St. George in the small tour championships 
and it was incredible. She was so, her seat was flawless. Her aids were flawless. Her horse was so connected and through and straight and uphill. It was just really, really inspiring to get to watch her to ride. And a lot of times I think I've been focused on competing too much. And I'm really looking forward to this winter to having time to go back and focus on the basics, focus on my position, focus on the connection and really have time to refine those things without the pressure of showing. Because I think that sometimes when you have a lot of shows, you're too focused on the movements and you forget about the basics and then the movements fall apart. So that was my biggest takeaway from Chicago. I'm really, really glad that I went. I learned so much. I'm super proud of both of my horses. They are both extremely talented and I'm very grateful to have them. And I always lo love the journey. I love how much more I still have to learn, how much better I can get and I'm looking forward to that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, you wanna hit that red button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you get notified every time that I post a new video. And thank you guys for all of your support. It's an amazing community that we have. So many people showed up and supported me at the nationals, which was really, really special. And I'm so grateful to all your support and also the fact that we're all in this together. It's a journey, it's hard, there's a lot of ups and downs, but we're always learning and we're always trying to get better as riders and that makes it really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.